Unless... Hmm. Actually, wait a minute. Hello, my name is Yostrix, and welcome back to part 9. While I didn't actually have a good ending in the last one, because, you know, I just decided, hey, we're going to stop here. Unless, well, that's what we just had pop up. So, here's episode 9 now. <laughs> What's good against fairy? Poison and steel. That is it. And fairy is good against what? Fairy is good against fighting dark and dragon. I think we can go take on that kind of thing. I'm trying to think of the word. I, there's a Pokemon Center right there. I don't know why the fuck I don't do this every time. No. Hey, uh... Clival. Yostrix. Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, Yostrix. What do you think of Cassiopeia? They're a bag of riddles. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment towards Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. But what could it be? Well, I'd best get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? Well, I've decided on it, alright. I will return later when there is time for young Master's piano lesson. Till then, please give him my regards. Y yes Mr. Harrington. Hmm? Then who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Young master? Ah, I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew, the Rochebach Squad, led by young master Ortega. Um, Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea as to who this young man might be? So a friend of ours, you know. He might be here to try and take us on. Understood. In that case, I take it you're an adversary of the young master? I guess that follows? Is that so? Well then, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Yeah, sure, why not? Splendid. Then let us begin. Oh yeah, he would be a really good Pokemon to keep in our party. Uh, Sword Stance. I can survive that, thankfully. That's not gonna hit us in two, so Fury Cutter. Nasty Plot. Ooh. Get wrecked. Hatrum. Yeah, keep. Fury Cutter. Really? Hell yeah. Well, well. An outstanding performance. However, be aware that young Master Ortega's battle prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. You would do well to take care. Now if you'll excuse me. Hasta la vista. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least, that's what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I gotta let everyone know. Hasta la vista! I see, the card has been dealt with. Good job. That base belongs to the Team Star's fairy crew, the Roach Boss Squad. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead from the back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry, and he'll ma march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. And he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up, and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Rooch Boss Squad off the map. Code Red! Code Red! Operation Starfall Alert! Everyone, get into position to defend the boss with all you got! And rest assured, Intruder will deal with you without the boss's help! Unless you manage to beat 30 of our Pokémon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that! Defeated. Defeated. That one might hurt. Or not. Defeated. Wow, that was really fast, actually. 
Good God, Zorark, you just fly. I guess I do have multiple Pokemon, don't I? Yeah, you take care of that squad. So I can go that way. Take your turn. I want to see what Zorark does in this situation. Go Scyther. Okay, I guess Scyther's not taking care of that team. I, I, I heard a... One second. I heard you, bitch. Oh yeah, Gimmagool. So, back in the game. Dope. <laughs> it just keeps knocking them out. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. a very pink vehicle. Okay, Ortega, what you got for me? Huh, so you're Yostrix. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. You think fairy types are all about cuteness. You're in for a nasty surprise. Is it real? I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this battle sends you blubbering back home. Oh, it's us, it's real. My bad. Swords dance. Now we're gonna see how much this hurts. Oh, cool, so I did nothing. Swords dance. Bounce. Okay, so who in my party doesn't really get hit by a uh, flying? I'm assuming Tankaton. We'll bring Blade back in when he's not gonna die to a bounce. Ooh, that was crit hit too. Aw, oh, and paralysis? Damn. Lucky all across the board. Oopsie, did you just realize how outmatched you are? If you want to give up, now's the time. Gigaton Hammer! Oh, that did jack. Okay. Uh, Draining Kiss. I'm probably gonna get knocked out, yeah. That's fine with me. I'm gonna go back in to... Let's go with Blade again. Alright, now for Blade, we're gonna Terrestrialize and then Slash. So this will remove my weakness to Flying. In which case, he does use Bounce again. Ooh, there we go. Might as well use air slash on you. Avoided it? Okay, so I, I don't think I'm in any trouble if I just swords dance again. He's most likely going to use a move that... Yep, slash. Ooh, 
Ooh, crit hit again. That doesn't surprise me, though, considering I literally built it to be a crit hit machine. Uh, slash, again. God damn. All right, we have a room. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. I really want to try using that, but I think I'm just going to get Slash again. Miss Magical Torque. Okay, I forgot how fast Forever Room was. Weird as it seems, I'm going to send in Sneasel. Alright, then we're going to revive Tank a ton quick. Steel Roller? Yeah, that's surprising. The mist disappeared. Hell yeah. Alright, Tank a ton. I don't think you're going to win this, but goddamn do I want you to. Kick it on Hammer. Spin out. Live, live, live. Yes. We're gonna hyper potion take it on. I'm fine with that. Can be used twice in a row. It wasn't used twice in a row technically. But just in case, we're going to go with Flash Cannon. Spin out. Okay, I can move that. Gigaton Hammer. <laughs> Confuse Ray. On tempo, bitch. You can't even see me anymore. Ugh, <laughs> oh, how could I lose? What the heck? About a year and a half ago. Ugh, oh, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile. I was up all night building it. Problem's clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two Charcadet, but it's just too heavy. It's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on all our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry, I really thought it could work. Come on, good fellow. Tis no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand, genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all the effort would have been zero payout, I'd have just asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why some people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Bella, cool it, would you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? If that honk of drunk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, we just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm gonna train up my Char Cadet and have them evolve. The boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh on hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Melly, wait. You know, Mella shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. God, this sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. Going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Gah, fine. Not like I have a choice anyway, so take the badge already. You better treat with the respect it deserves. Not done yet. Here's my favorite TM too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Dazzling Gleam. And just so you know, you are the worst, like the most annoying person ever. <laughs> but I get it, you're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even busted out my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. Guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head on home. Uh, actually, a different matter brought me. Somebody I'd like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. 
The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want you to tell me something. You're a son of a wealthy family and heir of a major app apparel company, so why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. While my answer is the same as everyone else in the team, it's because I was being bullied. So the academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days, and the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. What? Why? What happened to them? As a former director of the academy, I believe I am in the best position to answer that question. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them. And as an altercation broke out between the groups, though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetuated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after the other. But, but there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all the records of the incident, you see. What? Why would you do any of that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with the Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to me. This student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No, no one told me that. I accepted the request and I agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned 18 months of overseas studies to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad. This was not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region, under the pretext of overseas studies. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So we try to cover up that whole thing? That's terrible! Had we discovered he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay on my feet and resigned from my position as a director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Oh, well, there's no way I'm abandoning any of my friends after going to school without them. After we've come this far, your friends in Team Star must be a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? Because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Yostrix, it's me. Take that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then? I see. With its boss no longer around, the Roochbot squad is as good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Yostrix, and Clive has also performed admirably in your support. I remember him saying that your acquaintances. Have you known each other that long? Yeah, for a while now. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Back in what day? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star. They could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all got they all bolted from the battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after the other, and Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But there's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now about your award. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone. Make it the suit. Yeah, whatever. Alright, Penny, what you got to say? Um, here I am. God damn it. Go on, stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? It was one of the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone else's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even one of them had just been paying attention where everyone was getting bullied. They'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the academy was. What a massive idiot creating Team Star just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. Well, you think so? I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. Next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Ostrix. Oh, I can get a second girlfriend right there. Oh, fine, I'll avoid it. The temptation was there, though. 
or changing an axie for someone, George. Okay, so let's level these guys up quick. So Rule Edge has the EXP thing. All right, you know what? We're just going to actually put our team back to how it was when we get there. And then what happens happens, right? Hey there, Yostrix. Summer has the false dragon titan lurked somewhere in this lake, yeah? Not a single person's ever caught a glimpse of it. Must be some kind of truly terrifying beast. How are you supposed to search for a thing when it doesn't even know what it looks like? Sure, it would be handy if they ran around crying, I'm the titan or something, if only, right? I mean, Iron Treads basically did that. Off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Well, there's a Terra Pokemon, but that's not the one we're looking for. Why are you guys... What are the little iceberg dudes doing in the water? Oh, <gasps> Dratini! Hello, my boy! Rain dance? Fuck you doing that for, bruh? You're a dragon type Pokemon. It's already raining. There's enough rain. I guess the only thing is to try and do it again. Dive ball. Hey, did you know that I want to catch you? One. Oh! You just, you just really wanted to make it rain. <laughs> Dratini, dragon Pokemon. It is born large to start with. It repeatedly sheds its skin as it steadily grows longer. Nope. Dratini, Dratini I'm sending you to my boxes for right now. We will make a better version of you later. Where am I supposed to find it? Just chilling about here? Or like, am I actually supposed to find it right here? Before I fell? Sure. <laughs> You know, I, I had a question and it got answered, so fair play. Do, 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 do. Okay. Loaded much better this time. Not sure what's up with the drippy, but the drippy do be there. No, there's an item right here. I saw it. Okay, fine, I'll bite. Put a blade in first, though. You've sure put in some effort coming all the way out here on your own little legs. Actually, I run on the back of a legendary Pokemon casually. I feel like steel is really good against flying. So what if I... Fury Cutter. Yeah, not surprising. Didn't merc me. Slash. Also not very effective. Yeah, that's fair. Lava Plume seems to be the way to go. Wait, why am I just... hate to break it to this guy, but isn't it, like, kind of weird that I'm just standing right in front of him and also Pokemon battling at the same time? I have a plume. <laughs> Those old legs hold up some real great skills. Suit, suit, suit. Suit time. Tie, tie. Suit tie. Fuck. Titan. Hi. Titan. Oh. Yeah, speaking of Titan. Uh. Sword dance. Hopefully I can run to body slam. Oh no. Oh, okay. Paralysis. Damn it. Okay. So what if we use Fury Cutter? Can't move because it's paralyzed. Body slam again, I'm guessing. Yep. Fury Cutter. All right, that did good damage actually. That's not good though. That's right, so I can actually see what I'm doing now. Uh, Giga Ton Hammer. Bonk. <laughs> Brutal Swing. Also not very effective apparently. 
Draining kiss, maybe? Draining kiss ain't bad for me. Actually, that's really good. Aqua Tail. I can brunt it, I think. Draining kiss, please. Oh, crit hit, too. Body slam, I'm guessing. Water pull still. Right, we're going to set up you to light screen first. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's very bad. That is indeed very bad. I don't have a very strong team right now. Pomo, your turn. Okay, we're going to try and merc it with you. Spark. Oh, and paralysis. Hell yeah. Alright, Don Donzo. I can kill you. Now you should run, right? Yeah. Okay, now he's just actually swimming this time. That's the first time we've actually seen another Pokemon eat another Pokemon. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's that weird little fish thing, as before. Okay. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> Wait, is that tiny one... Is that why it's a Tatsugi? Because it just spawns that big-ass thing? Where did you come from? Yo, Strix, did you find the Titan? So that's true. Shares a one big, uh, dragon? Wait, is it even a dragon, or is it a fish? Huh. The, the little sushi guy got eaten up by the titan? Yeesh, didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. Alright, battle, terrorist wise, swords dance. This food chain's got me pretty fascinated. I'm gonna dig in and make a meal of this battle. Actually, wait a minute, how do we get mayonnaise in the Pokemon universe? Do we actually still use eggs? Swords dance. Attack row sharply. Body slam. Alright, I can take it. I know I can. Uh, Fury Cutter. Aqua Tail? Fuck. Yeah, you know, I, I should have realized I didn't heal all the way, but you know what happens. Alright, Palma, you're in. <laughs> Spark. Hell yeah. Ooh, okay. How did that thing avoid takedown? As big as that thing is, there is no way in hell you're missing it. Again on it? Why not me? I'm surprised. And we win these. So that one actually fell into the water as you'd expect it to. Whoop, we, we did it, Yostrix. Now the Titan's taken care of. Next up on the menu is that Herbal Mystica. Hmm? Whoa, little sushi guy escaped without being coming that thing's lunch. T t Titan. What, does that thing want to fight too? Oh, obviously Scyther's healed now. Uh, we can actually sword stance this time without getting body slammed immediately. Dragon pulse? Holy shit. Okay, this guy's gonna have to get a whole face full of slash. Oh, wow, okay. Icy wind, fork. Oh wait, no longer bug type. <laughs> Yoink. I relinquish you of your tarot type. 
Titan Tatsugiri. I think Scyther is just a little bit too big for the camera. Let's go. Excuse. Dragon Pulse. Why wouldn't I want that? Phew. Nice job, Yostrix. That's my hardworking little bud. Maybe the Titan was both those Pokemon together? Like some kind of weird combo meal? The little one came out of here, which means there should be some Urban Mystica inside. Let's go, Yostrix. That must be it. The last Urba Mystica. Ooh, the spicy one. Okay, let's see what the book has to say. So it seems spicy Urba Mystica is supposed to boost your metabolism. It gives your circulation a boost and helps flush out all those toxins, along with a ton of sweat. Now what's next? It's Chow Tai. And here we go. Trusty Garvin's Chaka Block Full of Cheer Final Herb Super Sandwich. Squeeze this badge tight and cry beautiful tears of friendship as you eat, okay? Why, hello? I'll share. Because <laughs> he makes extras now. Man just eats it whole every time. Right now we'll not be able to climb up vertical surfaces. <laughs> I guess it's Mavastiff's turn then. Come on, bud. Eat up. It's gonna make you all better, I promise. Yostrix and I, we really did our best to get this for you. We're going to play with your favorite ball as much as you want. You know, just like we used to. Please, get better. That's all I really want. My boastive. You did your best, bud. Rough. <gasps> he went to get the ball. Look at him go. Bud? R rough. I know, bud. Me too. <laughs> I'm just... I was like, hey, my ride on. I know. You too. On his little tail's wagon. I'm happy that worked out. I mean, obviously it would, but I'm still happy it happened. Ro da da da. Can be Taro. Hello, Yostrix. This is Taro. What? Like, yeah? Seems I'm right on as we gained all of its powers, except for the power to battle. Should not be able to climb up any vertical surfaces it grabs onto while you're riding upon it. Anyway, we're right one to entrust it to, Yostrix. <laughs> that was new. Like you had anything to do with it. That voice, Arvin, are you there? I've been searching so long for a way to reach you. Because, because no one else can get in my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take your tricks back to Lighthouse with you. To the lab on Paco Path. I'll reach out once more when you arrive there. Wolf? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good take there, my bastard. I just did the well, I'm ready to get out of here thing. Guess you probably already know. 
But that's... that's my dad. Always buried under his work, off pursuing his own research. Never at home with me. That's the first time I've even heard his voice in years, you know? And now what? The first thing I get is to be treated like some kind of errand boy? He's seriously... unbelievable. I'm guessing you and Mariah don't probably want to go, eh? Not gonna lie, I feel like my blood's boiling, but... Sure, fine. I'll get you into the lab. What else can I do? Lab is off Poco Path. At the lighthouse where you and me first met. Come on, let's get moving before I change my mind. And <laughs> Moridon just following me. Dad, where you have been all this time? Looks like everyone's been healed. No. Oh. I, I don't know how I came from that direction suddenly, but okay. I'll take it. Seriously, you beat me here? Well, this is a lab. He was coming to play all the time when I was a kid. There better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. Turo's gonna be inside the lab, isn't he? Everyone always says he's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My dad, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, he's the worst. All he ever does is work. He never comes home. I don't have a single memory of him even playing as me. I don't have a single memory of him ever even playing with me as a kid. His own kid. Wosif's the only one who was there for me. Always. Anyway, it's open now. Go on it. I just want to get this over with. It's dusty. Holy fuck, that's a lot of monitors. I need your help. I'm currently at the deepest point of Area Zero, in the Great Crater of Paldea. I've been researching the unique Pokemon here for a very long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Turo's glorious research. The final step? Well, there's something we need first, something that can be found within the lab. What we need is the Violet Book. Wait, do you mean this book? Ah, so you took it from the lab then, did you? This expedites things. Bring the Violet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that it will be an experience worth treasuring if you can come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. Seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. I may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I'll be awaiting you in the deepest part of Area Zero, whenever you arrive. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mabastiff got wounded in the first place. Down the great crater Paldea. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you going to go? Of course I'm going to go. I 
I suppose he did ask. I can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on his own. <laughs> I got the biggest fucking smile. So I guess I'm going to. Besides, I'd love to give dad a piece of my mind. Alright then, Yostrix, outside. We're going to have a Pokemon battle to see if we're ready to head into Area Zero or not. Let's look to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. He about to get his ass whooped. What's this? It's about for Pokemon. Mash diff is written on it. And kid's handwriting. It's also has research data displayed on the monitors. Can I, like, read the books? There's a magazine entitled A Culture. It's the May issue. Do you want to read it? An article caught your eye. Enigmas of Paldea, file 05. Iron Hands, secretly a cyborg? This being's name comes from the one given to an iron-handed entity in the mysterious Violet Book. It is said to have fists that move independent of its own body to be capable of throwing large, fast-moving vehicles. Leading theory holds that Iron Hands was once an athlete who became mortally wounded, but was kept alive by being made into a cyborg. Why it so strongly resembles Hariyama, however, remains unanswered. Ooh. Big sandwich. It's a microwave. Looks like it has been used. Our Arvin, you're about to get your ass handed to you. My Pokemon that aren't so strong. Are you gonna come out here and just whoop my ass? Alright, you ready for a battle, Yostrix? Yes. Excellent, you're ready to go too, right, Mabastiff? Yep, Mabastiff says he's ready. You're battling with Mabastiff? Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. <laughs> oh, my buddy here is burst. My buddy here is bursting with energy. You'd never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Well, leave me alone, always whining at me. Wanted to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long, I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. And if we always lost to that student council girl, the bat oh, fanatic one. <laughs> anyway, my point is there's no need to worry. We're a brand new Arvin and Mabostiff, and we're feeling audacious. Or maybe herbodacious? Let me give you a taste of what we can do. Oh yeah, you had uh, all these Pokemon from before. I hate greetings. Pokemon that I met during our hunt for the Herba Miska are all stars. Every one of them. Oh damn, he's got some pretty high level shit. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna... Okay. So he has these really high level Pokemon that mine are not on the same level as. So maybe, just maybe, I shouldn't just waltz in there with how I'm going, you know? I feel like I could take on the Pokemon League faster than I could take on this guy. So I think I'm probably going to train a little bit. Okay, so how about instead of just sacrificing myself to my demons, uh, we have a thing where I don't die immediately. All right, all right. Level up time? Uh, level up. Level up. Yes, evolution. Axie evolving. Axie evolved into Fracture. Axe Jock Pokemon. Dragon. Fracture uses its thick tusks to neatly cut prey into two portions. One to eat now, and one to save for later. I don't know why I'm recording this. This is just going to be a session of me doing things until everything happens. So, we're going to cut it for a bit. Alright, uh, I don't know how you're fast asleep after two punches to the face, but, you know, you do you. Well, no one might like he's gonna wake up and then just rest again. There's just a Glaceon in the back there. Hell yeah, boy! He looks pissed, constantly. 
Annihilate, Rage Monkey Pokemon, Fighting Ghost. It imbues its fist with the power of the rage that it kept hidden in its heart. Opponents struck by these imbued fists will be shattered to their core. Glaceon, Fresh Snow Pokemon. It lowers its body heat to freeze its fur. The hairs then become like needles it can fire. Phew! Yeah, okay, so they weren't they weren't getting with us. Mimikyu, disguised Pokemon, Ghost Fairy, disguised form. Mimikyu was only recently identified as a Pokemon. Previously, people thought it was just a ghost wearing a cloth. Holy shit. Oh, do do do. I see you're almost at the fifth base. Hold up inside there is Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Yostrix. Yostrix, Cassiopeia. So you made it as well, Clive. Of course, it's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, I owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. Sorry I was so wary of you at first. Well, that's all water under the bridge. When we're finished with the base, that'll be it for the end of... When we're finished with the base, will that be the end of Operation Starfall then? Not quite. We'll still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind last of all. Do we have any leads on how to find them? Hoping they'll come out in the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. I see. Come so far. Only a few more steps left. Don't let me down. Either of you. Cassiopeia has hung up. Alright. Thank you, Yostrix. I've slowly but surely come to understand Team Star. I know what I need to do, and I know what my final decision will be. For that, I can't thank you enough. Take care in that base, Master Yostrix. Ah, sorry, forget all the polite there. Don't know where that came over me. <laughs> Clavel, you're you're failing your own disguise, man. It's not it's not going well for you. For fighting types. This is, yeah, it's fighting types. I feel like I actually do want to have you in. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Ah, there's Bisharp over there, too. Prison. I got absolutely destroyed by my one Pokemon. <laughs> okay, this makes me feel better about it. No, oh, Clive's already at the door. You're pretty skilled. Not many trainers can shrug off my Pokemon's attack like that. Send you. Ari, was it? Your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves. I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now, if you want to get on with our battle, I'm already by my side. I'm gonna say something. Who are you? Yostrix, there you are. Started talking to this girl since she looked like she was with Team Star. And she and her Pokemon came at me without warning. We were just battling it out. Riri, I knew you'd be out here. Carmen. You okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Now get away from here. It's not safe. I'll take over guarding the base, Riri. You should get back inside. No, I won't come back down. I can't. Oh, Riri, you need to stop this. Till the boss is back, I have to protect all of you in the Cap Squad. And everyone else in Team Star, too. That's why you should get back to the base and rest up, even just for a little bit. It's the boss of the squad? I, I just can't. Riri, please. I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. Fine. I'll go. I'm sorry, Carmen. Hey, that's no way to sign off. Let me hear a hasta la vista from you. Nice and loud. Yeah, I ain't doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't got the energy for that right now. I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Yo, Strix, my Pokemon are actually running on empty after that last battle. Sorry to spring this on you, but you think you can handle this grunt alone. 
Thanks, I'll be cheering on you from the sidelines. I'll protect Riri with everything I have. You ready to battle? And here I go. Oh yeah, I forgot fighting. Duh. Prime ape? Well, you see, I'm a prime ape myself. Screech? How are you faster? Outrage? Oh, that's not good. Training kiss. Outrage doesn't affect me, though. Because it's a dragon type move. Yeah, we're good without that right now. I lost, but my defeat's not the one that matters. Even if all I did was say bye Riri a bit of time, that's fine. My job here's done, so I'll head back inside. Ah, still a beast. Take you to feed the guard out front. That base is run by Team Star's fighting crew, the Cap Squad. The boss, Eri, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole of Team Star in Pokemon battling. While the bosses, she'll likely be the most alert to hostiles after our declaration of war. She might try to stop this raid in its tracks by challenging you to a Pokemon battle before anyone else. Yeah, we already met. I knew it. Tell me what happened. She retreated? We're talking about the same Eri, right? Well, it seems there's nothing for it now but to attack the base head on. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the cap squad off the map. Yes, I'm ready to battle Team Star. Even the smallest stars can light the sky when they shine together as constellations. We're the last bastion of Team Star. Losing isn't an option. Hey, kitty, listening? 30 Pokemon, 10 minutes. How's that for you? I did kind of glance over that one quite well, if I say so myself. Go for it. Such a big ass hammer. How anything can survive that I don't know. Okay. Go get the monkey. The reason it's going so slow this time is because the Pokemon are happening. Oh, 
Yeah, there's some right here. I'm gonna do this quick. Thank you for the vending machine. I appreciate that it's there for some reason. I feel like lending your enemy help isn't exactly the best idea. Oh, there's one right there. The entire time. And that's 30. I don't think we can hold him off much longer. Boss. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. Wah! I can, I can at least burn one. This base is precious to us. I won't let this raid of yours go any further. You can still keep the base. Oh, we're just gonna sword stance. I give as good as I get, that's a promise. We'll see who's left standing in the end. Here's Slash. That's not good. All right, take two. Sucker punch. Get rigged. Air slash. Are you kidding? Well, I'm at speeds decreased even more somehow. Oh boy. Pass him in. I honestly could not tell you what this Pokemon is. But Gigaton Hammer works. Close combat. Ooh. Uh, training kiss. Thank you. Let's you used it twice. And got a crit hit. And landed it. That's impressive. Wing attack. Why you, what's with all the close combat? Like why why can you use it so many times in a row without actually failing it? That doesn't make any sense. If I try to use it twice in a row, I die. You know what? Fine, we'll just use George Foreman and see what happens. Shadow Ball. Of course. Thank you for no longer being a problem to me. Lucario. I'll switch back into Blade. I don't want to deal with this. Hi, right, Lucario. Air Slash. Dragon Pulse. Okay. Didn't expect Lucario to be faster, I'm gonna be honest, but that makes sense. Lucario is indeed a fast Pokemon. But we have annoyance. I lived. 
Earth power again. Oh, of course, Water Spear. Yeah, that's fair. I'll give you that. All right, George Foreman, your turn again. Flamethrower. Of course, you know Dark Pulse. All right, so what's good against finding again? Max revive tank a ton. I am not dealing with this twice. Dark isn't very good against fairy. Neither is fighting. I lived. And I will continue to live to see another day. Thank you. Everyone else's Lucario is like OP as hell, and there's like mine. Hopefully I get my quick claw off on a draining case. Well, it's comp Why is everything no close combat? I'm weak to the thing I'm strong against. That doesn't make any sense to me. Scyther. Of course close combat hits every time. Alright, George Foreman, I'm really counting on you to live. Why do you know Fire Punch, of all the things? Oh, I want to fight something right now. Okay, so I may as well just back out right now, right? We'll, we'll just get to this point eventually again. Yeah. I, I refuse to lose, so please lend me your strength. Okay, we're gonna full heal this boy right here. You need to be at max. We're a bit under leveled for everything we're doing now. Of course, it's super effective. song. Oh, they actually did decent damage. I may live yet. Of course it has stamina. Claw and Draining Kiss, that's all we gotta have for us. I did Jack. That really didn't help me. High horsepower. Shadow Ball, maybe? Shift Gears? Okay, cool. Alright, we can take that. We can't, but we're, we're just gonna say we can anyways. I don't know if I want... Screw it, Terrace Elias Flamethrower. Oh, I avoided it! Can this kill? Yes, yes, I can! <laughs> well, 
with one Pokemon remaining and a dream. We were severely underleveled and probably shouldn't be here. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. About a year and a half ago. I'm so sorry. I think I went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practice we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. I could never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Harry. Even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See, nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star on the whole team. <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. Um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Ah, sorry. You all should really take a break. I'll go on for a while while you rest up. My lady, we four have each trained in our turn, but not you. Our steadfast mentor have not rested. Once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus. But lately I feel like I can take anything. Even if I'm really tired, I feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge designs to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. I gave my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give this to you, I'd want you to have this. I'd like to see you try out my trademark move, too. Here, have this one for you. Yeah, no kidding. You used that like eight times and landed all of them. I know you're part of Operation Starfall, but I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just re really... You know, that's fair. Looks like it's all over. Oh, Reavy. This is the team star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So what did you want to ask me? You seem to be on much friendlier terms with Aerie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, alright, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Reavy. She's an amazing trainer and athlete. She's just really pretty too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, he started to pick on her? Pretty much, I got our classmates to join in too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle, and once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it, but then Riri, she chose to help me even though I had done so horrible things hurt. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side, and she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that, what a kind girl. She really is, and joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Uh, no, I merely... Miri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please, don't take away our greatest treasure. Yostrix, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Ares' star badge? Without its boss, the Cap Squad should be a hair's breadth from disbanding. So Ares was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should soon be back attending classes at the Academy. Why does everyone speak such weird English? Nice work out there, Yostrix. Is that Clive I hear? Cassiopeia, well done to you too. Thanks, now about your reward, Yostrix. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Oh, that reminds me, I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed. You can go ahead and give Yostrix his bonus reward now. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. So only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. Where's the big boss? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but 
Right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasured them more than anything. They go on like this. Team Star won't do anything good for anyone. They've got to give up. So I'm using the code we made to force them to disband. Yo, Strix. I'll be waiting for you at the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible. But with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to who their true identity is. It seems we'll find our answer after dark in the Academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best as we can before heading over. And that is everything but the Pokemon League. Oh boy. Okay, well we'll save the rest for the next episode. Goodbye.